action in Birmingham next in the fifth fight of our magnificent seven. Our MC is Jimmy Lennon Jr. Ladies and gentlemen, we are ready for our heavyweight championship attraction. Please welcome the boxers as they make their way to the ring. First joining us to the red corner, please welcome the Commonwealth champion from Norwich, introducing Sam Sexton. Sam Sexton on his way through the smoke from a tough estate in Norwich, the Mile Cross Estate. He's been in some cracking fights already, notably against Martin Rogan away from home in Belfast, and he won both of those. First put his name out there on the radar, really, when he won prize fighter a couple of years ago. He's a tough fighter, and a lot of people in the business think he can upset the form book and beat Chisora tonight. Yeah, well, I think he's developed well over the last couple of years. I think he showed in winning prize fighter that he could go into the ring with a plan and stick with that plan and make it work. I think he showed in both of the Rogan fights that he has the character to take his bumps and just carry on with the job. Those were two tough nights, eh? Boxing over in Belfast, so I think he answered a lot of questions that night. The only thing I would take from his first meeting with Chisora, Chisora looked physically stronger than he was that night. I don't know if that'll still be the case, but Sexton is certainly a far better fighter tonight than he was that night. He says he's ten times better. But has Chisora got a psychological advantage by winning that first fight they had back in 2008? We'll find out very, very soon. And now joining us to the blue corner, here it is the British champion from London, Derek Chisora.
from the LG Arena here at the National Exhibition Center at Birmingham, England. At this time, we present our next title attraction. It is a rematch special event in the heavyweight division brought to you by Frank Warren in association with FrankWarren.tv. And we are live and exclusive on Sky Box Office HD. The officials are appointed by the British Boxing Board of Control and the Commonwealth Boxing Council. The steward in charge is Charles Giles. Introducing our three judges scoring this bout from ringside. From All Hollows, we have Richie Davies. From Doncaster, Howard Foster. And from Birmingham, Terry O'Connor. Our third man of the ring, the referee in charge, hails from Wellingboro, John Keane. All right, fans, here we go. 12 rounds of boxing for the unified British and Commonwealth Heavyweight Championship. Introducing to you first on my left, the Commonwealth Champion fighting out of the red corner. Wearing black trunks with white lettering, he weighed in at 17 stone, 2 pounds and 8 ounces. His record stands at 13 wins, one loss, with six wins coming by way of knockout. Tonight, making the second defense of his title from Norwich, please welcome the heavyweight champion of the Commonwealth, introducing Sam Sexton. And his opponent across the ring on my right, the British champion fighting out of the blue corner, Wearing the Union Jack, he weighed in at 17 stone, 6 pounds, 8 ounces. He is undefeated in his campaign in the ring with a record of 13 wins, no losses, with 8 wins coming by way of knockout. Tonight making the first defense of his title from Finchley, London, here is the undefeated and reigning heavyweight champion of Great Britain, introducing Derrick. And our referee in charge, mounting instructions, John Keane. Well, you see the instructions in the dressing room, you know what to expect. Shake hands about boxing. Well, what happens two years on? A lot of talk at the moment against about David Hay and Audley Harrison on November the 13th. Here's another British scrap in the heavyweight division to look forward to, with two titles on the line. Will Chisora move on another stage from his win over a name opponent like Danny Williams? Can he repeat the win he had over Sexton a couple of years ago? Chisora with the Union Jack shorts, Del Boy, his nickname written on them. Could get interesting this fast start from Chisora, find some good punches early. Well, I don't know if he planned starting quickly, but I think he had to respond to Sexton because he's come out and let some punches go straight away. He's probably the one, having lost the last time, who wants to make an early impression. Some good body shots early on from Derek Chisora. That's a languid way about him. We wondered if he would ever come through. He always looked as if he had a bit of talent. Well, it looks like he has come through. And can he stay around the top of the heavyweight division in this country and maybe even go a bit further than that? Good head movement as he comes forward. Probably is the, the, the better technique, Chisora. But in heavyweight boxing, uh, so many different things can decide the outcome. Fitness. Stamina, just a will to win because I think this is going to be a tough battle the longer it goes. Yeah, it might take a bit of winning, that looked a bit low from Sexton, who's proved his gameness and heart already. So far, you might say that Chisora hasn't had what the Americans call a gut check if it got into a really tough, long battle. No, well, Sexton has been uh, a place a couple of times that Chisora hasn't had to be as a pro, so I would imagine he's going to have to go there tonight. I did like the respectful way that Chisora actually applauded Sexton when he was being introduced by the MC. 
Yeah, but wasn't I think sarcastic he, either. No, but I, I think he, he wants to show he is a sportsman. I think he's let himself down a couple of times with his actions there on the spur of the moment. So that was nice to see. I agree with that. We work hard here. Sexton, he thinks he's the faster of these two. And he's had a 16-week, a monster 16-week training camp in preparation for this. Sexton getting his gloves up, blocking plenty of those hooks early on. chisora has been quite busy. That's a nice jab from Sam Sexton. Chisora not really using the jab, wanting to get up close and uh, do pretty much what he did last time they met. Don't know if that's the best idea. Good body shot from Sexton in there as well. I know it's Chisora just stepped away a little after that one landed and disengaged. Not easy to split them in the opening round here. I think this is going to be as good as we hoped it would be. Certainly a good opening stanza to this one. Good blocking there by Chisora. Bucket, bucket, please. From Finchley in North London, Derek Chisora, right. which used to be the constituency feel? of former Prime Minister Margaret yeah. Thatcher. Huh? Good. Apropos Good. of nothing in particular. Right, well, show us. right, you need to work that jab, baby. Mm -hmm. You need to work that jab. Double it up, yeah? You're crowding your work again, yeah? Boom, 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 <laughs> step out, clear the room, through the middle, it's crying out for it. Uppercut, left hook, OK? Yes, or little the left uppercut and come Don't with the trainer. Okay. Well, they both had their successes in the opening round. Chisora was busy the first half of the round, landing some good body shots. His corner wanted to see a bit more of the jab being used, and then Sexton come back with some good shots of his own, although that one maybe strayed a little bit low. And it's the second round. The first fight ended with just 26 seconds to go in round six at the York Hall in Bethnal Green in June 2008 in Chisora's favour. Sexton claiming he wasn't properly fit for that fight. He's certainly properly fit for this one. Yeah, well, he's coming at a good weight. Dropped a couple of pounds from some of his earlier performances. Fast confidence start to the round again. Really good work with the jab there by Chisora. Bouncing around and looking in good nick himself here. Nice little faint too before he goes to work. I was just going to say, Jim, no shortage of action. But, well, I fancied this could well be the fight of the night. Uh, and I like the way it's hit, kicked off. This is so, good stuff. Oh, it's just under the glove that time of Chisora. Yeah, but the pace is good. He's trying to get himself into the driving seat early. Classy but, stuff here by Chisora. Does he have the stamina to work at this pace? Oh, what a response from Sexton. Terrific stuff. Chisora's smiles through his gum shield and waves Sexton in again, but that was a defiant response from the man from Norwich. This could be decided on the one who paces things better, and that could well be Sexton. He's had to do it twice already. No, he doesn't waste too many punches. Good stuff from Chisora, but a lot wasted. A lot of wasted movement too. So I wonder, will Sexton be the one who stays better? What an interesting round this is with Chisora producing some really classy stuff, but then Sexton coming firing back again. And I think that made Chisora just think a little bit that. Up to this point, I think Chisora has produced more work. But I think he's using up a fair old bit of steam here. And Sexton looking solid, quite happy to catch the shots. So maybe he has a, a 12 round plan. He's proved before he can box to a plan. Maybe he has another one tonight. He's proved to Sexton that he can come through rough patches in a fight to prevail. Which is an important quality sometimes. It's a good right hand from him. Back comes Chisora again. It's been a good round. It's been a good fight so far early on. Clubbing right hand that time around the temple from Chisora. 
Some of these punches from Chisora are partially blocked, but the thump is still coming through the defence. He's Sexton still feeling them. And with a little left uppercut on the inside, Sexton, but most of the work from Chisora, I fancy, in round two. You look good, Sam. You look we wonder, good. will stamina come into play tonight? Good shape. Leaving yourself, man. Leave. A lot of flashy work from Chisora in that round, but uh, putting a lot of meat into punches that were being partially blocked. Will he pay the penalty for that further down the line? That was the one good response from Sexton. Here's round three. Both camps will tell you that they have prepared for 12 long, hard rounds. Let's see, Chisora with the Union Jack on the trunks and the white waistband. On the right of your picture, the British champion Sexton Commonwealth title holder from Norwich, which is a city, of course, which produced a WBO heavyweight champion in Herbie Hyde. This is good stuff from Sexton. A lovely right hook from Chisora, but a lot of Chisora's work's been blocked. At the moment, it's as if neither man wants the other one to establish any kind of advantage as if to say no you're not the governor because i'm coming back with something else myself even stephen so far well some real flashy bursts from chisora my questions are can he sustain this over the championship distance he's looked pretty classy at times in there chisora tonight. certainly has yep Good head movement as it comes forward. Those thumping shots high in the head. Quite loose and rhythmic, which isn't true of all heavyweights by a long shot. Sexton just gasping in the, the oxygen there as he backed off. Sexton trying to avenge the only defeat on his record so far. That right hand whistled round past the end of his nose. Well, another round with Chisora happy to take the initiative a little bit more. Sexton wants to react. Quite a good repertoire of shots coming in here from Chisora as well, particularly right crosses. And again, the good upper body movement, especially for a heavyweight, not quite Joe Frazier, but not too bad, was it? No. He's looking good, he's doing more. Sexton's coming back with little bursts. But it's Chisora who's rather taking the eye at the moment. He looks to be in the driving seat. He's prepared to let some punches go. Sexton, the one reacting with single counters. And the referees had a word a couple of times about holding up close. Little body shot there from Sexton. But Chisora has just been coming back all the time with that bit more. Sexton might think that he'll just outlast Chisora in this fight. 12 rounds is a long, long time. He's had to dig in before and come out and talk. So maybe he's not really too upset about what's happening at the moment. Doesn't want to take too many of those shots, though. Chisora's round. Sexton could be playing a canny game, though. on him, yeah? Blue water. I like the look of him tonight, she's all right so far. Yeah, but I think it's some good flashy work. He's looking very confident. He's happy in his condition, the fact that he's prepared to set the pace. And you can see the start is like we do have him in front. Particularly on the body shot count, that's where he's done it. Yeah, but those are kind of solid thumps around the ear, as you can see. Sexton taking them well, but he doesn't want to be taking too many. Just finding that little gap behind the defences. So good stuff in the early rounds from Chisora. Yeah. Come on, you know you can do 20 rounds if you need it, so let's get on it. And there's a decent rugby union player in his youth, a winger, I'm told. He's been boxing since he was 11. Chisora, born in Zimbabwe. But he's a resident of North London. We've just got to the point where Sexton needs to put a round in the bank. 
Well, he's trying to get his punches off first from round four here. Holding uh, Chisora's arms up close, the referee will have a word, I'm sure. Yep. I think you raised a very good point, Jim. Whether Chisora can maintain the pace if it becomes a long, hard fight. Well, Sexton getting the punches off first in this round. And I think that one troubled Chisora a little bit. He's quite happy to back off till his head clears. That was a good thumping left hook there. So the body that happened earlier in the fight as well, but I think it had a bit more effect. You actually heard that the, the thump on that punch landed. Looks as though he's ready to go back to business again, or was that just a little fake there? I think he felt that one in. Yeah, I do too. Just uh, called a halt really to his work rate for a moment. Which is all. This is a better round so far for Sexton. Defence from the Norfolk man, getting his gloves up, blocking a fair few of these. Good right hand. Cesora backing off with his defences low. Finds that right cross in behind the high held glove. And success with that in the last run. He's not going to let Sexton take a break there. He just pushed him off. Give me a bit of room. I'm going to fire off some more punches, he says, and he does that too. Good stuff from Chisora. And Sexton spits more defiance out at him. It's a good one, this. Good defense there with the body shots from Sexton. Sexton has produced some, produced some good work in this round. Chisora trying to come back, take the play away. But he's had to ship a few and a few solid ones at that. Chisora, body and head shots here right at the end of the round. Sexton had been doing well to that point, but that was a good little 15 seconds, wasn't it, for Chisora? Fortune swinging this way and that. I don't know that Sexton's comfortable with a hot pace. I think he would really like to slow things down a little bit. Chisora not allowing that. He just wants to buy a bit of time here and there. Sexton Chisora's having none of that. He's trying to push him away again. But there goes the bell to end what was a very good round. Uh, how you feeling, man? <laughs> Talk to me. I'm all right, man. Right, you're not... Listen, do me a favor, right? I know it's hard in there, yeah? Okay, you need to right faint, throw some feints. Yeah, you're not throwing any feints. You're becoming predictable with that. Yeah, you're doing good, but I want some feints in there. Yeah, then go. You know, you know, coming into it, moving quite heavily, yeah. wasn't he, in the corner there, Chisora? Well, yeah, well, it's very hot <laughs> here, and uh, well, the heavyweight division has been a tremendous here, pace sense. considering their heavyweights. Thank you. Yeah, I thought Sexton produced the better work in that round. Chisora certainly came back at him, but what a tremendous spell he had. The jab was working. Lovely solid left hook landed. So this one certainly in the balance. More punches landed by Chisora by 10 so far. 53 to 43, says the computer. Thanks for that, fellas. Here's round five. Union Jack Trunks. Of the South styled Del Boy, Derek Chisora. Sexton, the heavyweight pride of Norwich, both of them 26 years of age. Confident start to this round from Sexton here at the jab. Landed several times already. Looks very, very strong, doesn't he, Sexton? And there's a bit of belief about him. You sense. I've got a feeling this fight's going to take a lot of winning. Yep, I think it may just be the one who can hang in that little bit longer, the, the, the better condition. And I'm worried about Chisora being the one who's wasting more punches than Sexton is. Well, both of these two deserve our thanks for putting on a terrific show here so far. Both be over 17 stone. They suddenly haven't been lumbering around the ring. They've both come in in terrific shape and thrown lots of leather. Yeah. 
Seeing a lot of up close action now, which is the first sign that uh, they're both beginning to feel the effects of the pace a little bit, and that's understandable. It's been a hot pace. A very hot pace for heavyweights. Chisora opens up again ahead and body six and comes back again. John Keane, a very experienced referee. He's been a judge on some very big Las Vegas fight nights, by the way. He's in charge here. Yep, already they're both having to dig in. This could become attritional, couldn't it? Sexton's trying to lay on the chest of Chisora here, denying him room to work. Yeah, Chisora's trying to get some punches off, but Sexton's laying on, nullifying. Started the round well, Sexton didn't sustain it. Need a full tank of petrol tonight. Well, Chisora just, for me, has dug in a little bit more in this round. Overcome the, the kind of poor start he had to the round. But just digging in a bit more, good response again from Sexton. Body shot from Chisora. This really is good action. And a good right hand there from Chisora. Found a little uppercut too. Hasn't really stopped working from the word go. Coming up to round six, which was the round the fight ended the first time these two met two years ago in Chisora's favour. Well, Chisora beginning to stretch ahead on the punch stats, which is for me just did a little bit more. Maybe Sexton did too much good work too early, couldn't sustain it. Here comes that round six. Chisora, remember, the British champion after his win over Danny Williams and Sam Sexton, the Commonwealth champion, after his wins over Martin Rogan, the Belfast cab driver who hit the headlines with his win over Matt Scalton. So that really was good form by Sexton. The first one was a bit controversial. The second win he had over Rogan was emphatic. I think one of the... Sexton's problems, he just stands still too long at times in that thumping right hook. There's another uppercut from Chisora, so the target is always right there in front of him. So if you're in punching range, you want to be punching or you want to get back out of there. Just got a little more messy over the last couple of rounds. Bit of holding on the inside, John King, the referee, will have to watch that to maintain the excellence of the action we saw in certainly in the first four rounds just got the feeling something has to give don't you in this fight yep. i feel again chisora just the one prepared to just dig in a little bit more force out the punches working to head and body sexton a little bit guilty of nullifying that close good right hand from Chisora. Really good honest effort this by both of them. Right hand didn't quite land flush for Derek Chisora, but he's still very, very light on his feet here. They want more feints from him. Want him to just disguise the punches a little bit more. Finds a right hand again. A right hand is really working well for Chisora. Prepare to dig in again, not worry about the 12-round distance. Full credit, showing a little bit of character here, Chisora. Yeah, boxing with a bit of a swagger as well here. Starting to unload, very good, unanswered. What, 20 punches, I'd say, since Sexton came back with anything. Now he does throw a jab, but Chisora again, just looking very, very classy. I think Sexton's head is too stationary. He's done nothing about avoiding the right hand all the way through. And the spring in the step that you've just mentioned, which is all, maybe just a little bit of psych psychology here, showing them I'm still strong, I'm still happy, and I have plenty more to throw at you. Good round this for Chisora. Has the sixth been another big round for him 
in a fight with Sam Sexton. He's inviting him on. He said, if you come in here, I'm going to counter you. And Sexton's thinking about it. There he goes. He doesn't get counted, but that was a chess match. What a bill here tonight, and there's more of it still to come. Enzo Macaronelli, who's on a big revival mission, he's in action too, and we can meet him backstage. Apparently we can't meet him backstage, but we'll talk to him later anyway. Enzo <laughs> Macaronelli in a European cruiserweight title fight against the unbeaten Alexander Frenkel. Looks in the mood, doesn't he? Yeah, tremendous. I mean, I mean what a... A show of character we've had from Enzo over the years, and here he is back again trying to get back to world title level. Good luck to him. Good fight, that one, and this a good fight too, but that was a big round for Chisora. See, that's the right hand that Sexton is not doing anything about. Head too stationary. It's as though he doesn't expect Chisora to keep pouring the punches, but he does. That round. Round six, he landed 20 punches to three, Chisora. That underlines it. That's uh, the printout from the computer. Everybody's here tonight. I can see Prince Nassi Mohammed watching on the far side alongside Frank Warren. Looks like they're friends again. Yeah, well, water under the bridge. They did some good business together. So he made plenty of money, Prince Nassi Mohammed. So I'm on a tube train the other day. It's another story. Round seven here. Chisora on the left of your picture as you look at them with those Union Jack trunks. Sexton may be the one who has maybe to lead off a little bit more than he's been doing. He's blocking well at times. But maybe a little bit more leading off to impress the judges. Got there with the jab that time. I better get the gloves up, says Chisora. Trying to lure him into a trap here again here, I think. Chisora laying on the ropes, waiting for Sexton. Looked like it'd be a good argument beforehand, it has been. Yeah, well, they did the talking beforehand and the living up to it, which is good to see. Signs a couple of rounds ago may become messy, but this is far better. Plenty of space between them, plenty of punching room. So this is good stuff. Yeah, they did do the talking, but it was talking with a bit of respect as well, I thought, from, from both fighters. Right. Sexton just faded a little, maybe, over the last round and a half here. Chisora making a miss, good upper body movement again, but not coming back with as many punches as he has been earlier. So they're into the last minute now. Sexton might just be stealing this, uh, nothing dramatic, nothing impressive. Left hand gets in again there from Chisora, looks to open up, but he's out of range this time. This time Sexton's on the move. Good left hand there at the end of that rally from Chisora. Left hook. Sexton. Back he comes again. It's been like that all the way through. Air band flow. Sexton might have nicked this round by default. Uh, Chisora took a long time to get started. Trying to finish the round well, the Sexton prepared to meet him head on. Welcome back here to Birmingham. Let's have a look at what the down. punch stats are saying so far in on. this excellent you fight. Almost left. level on head punches, many more tablet, body yeah. shots from Chisora, giving oh, him a lead we'll on our it. computer printout there, quite a significant lead. And Chisora is now a four to one on favourite with the bookmakers to win this fight. With Sexton 11 to four against. If you think Sexton might outlast Chisora, you might be tempted by that. Here's round eight. Chisora has never been longer than eight rounds in his career. Yep, you see, I have Chisora two points up. 
And I think that's fair comment. Some of their fights are difficult to score, but I think there have been several rounds where he's just put in that bit more work. Just got it a little wider for Chisora, has his back to you at the moment. Fighter from North London against the man from Norwich. Done well, Norwich producing fighters Herbie Hyde and of course the excellent John Faxton who gave us so many good nights. Tried the left hook. Sexton got out of the way of that one. Just popping with the jab, Sexton, but the Chisora. Not the same snap in his work. He knows what's required, but body not responding quite the way it was earlier. And he has to think about pacing this now. I just wonder whether Sam Sexton believes these last few rounds might be his territory here. Chisora has to get closer. He's there thinking a wee bit too long at the moment not pressurising Sexton the way he was earlier. I think Sexton has to do a bit more himself as well, though, Jim. That's the problem. He does look negative at times, so in the, in the close rounds, he'll probably go the other way, but Chisora now trying to raise the pace, looking that little bit busier. Again, looking for those body punches where he established a huge advantage to those of our colleagues at ringside who are doing the counting, and it's significant counting they were doing, too. Staying power might be important in this one. I think it may well be crucial as a matter of fact. And this has been a fair old pace for the heavyweight division. Good burst from Chisora. Who's got a bit of energy still in the batteries? Chisora. And to take a couple there from Sexton. But Sexton, I think, has been quite negative in this round. He hasn't done an awful lot. He's just popping with his punches there. Uh, so, I mean, you have to decide are they point scoring punches or are they don't hit the punches as we call them? But just on a backing off, we'll be trying to draw him onto something as he's done a couple of times in the earlier rounds. Now, lateral movement from Chisora. Watch for signs his tank might be uh, emptying Chisora. That might be a fact. I'm not saying it's going to happen, but it's something to watch for. This is going to be the first time that Chisora has been past eight rounds in his career, and Sexton too, so new territory. Mm. Well, I wasn't impressed the way he finished the round. He got on his bike, just said, uh, quite happy to hear the bell, and it was a round that didn't work all that hard. So, as we said earlier, I think it's the one who's going to last that little bit longer. But another round where Chisora just producing the better work, Sexton popping with the jab here and there, but not committing himself to the punching. Whereas uh, Chisora catches her eye with the bursts of punches here and there, but looking very tired there. Breathing quite heavily when he went back to the stool, but he did that after the fourth round, it should be said. Here's round nine, the longest distance either man has travelled in their uh, professional careers thus far. Faster hands, I think, Chisora as well tonight. Yep, well, he's just going to have to grip his teeth and drive himself forward. He knows Sexton is every bit as tired as he is, so it's not difficult to take the initiative because Sexton seems quite happy to box on the back foot. So Chisora can look that little bit busier as long as he gets the punches off, just as he's doing now. A long hard battle. I think somehow Sam Sexton has to lift his work right here. Take the eye of the men at ringside scoring the fight. Richie Davis, Howard Foster, Terry O'Connor. When they come up close, 
and Sexton doesn't spoil. Then Chisora gets the better punching off. Referee has had a word a couple of times with Sexton for, you know, holding up close. Again, Sexton just popping with the punches, but the meaty shots coming from the champion. Or the, the British champion. Yeah, they're both champions. Sexton, the Commonwealth title holder, as we've been saying. Poking out a jab, finds a right hand. Is he preparing himself for a big finish? This is another Chisora round so far, though, I fancy. This is an important time to have a big round, too. This is a tough part of the fight, still three rounds to go after this one. This is where it can turn one way or the other. So, good psychological move from Chisora. He's dug in here and he's produced. Tribute to how well both men have prepared for the fight, and just as well they have, too. Chisora, even though Sexton's trying to hold, he's still throwing right hands at him. Looking heavy leg, Chis uh, Sexton. Yep. I wonder as the tank empty and gun shield almost come out. Yeah, he's tired. The legs are just stiffening. You know that Chisora has seen that. He sensed it. He's piling in the punishment here. Bad moments here for Sam Sexton. Chisora fancies he can take him out here. He might do too. He might be about to go like a big oak tree here. Nothing left, surely. John King is going to step in. Chisora is now a double champion. It's a done deal for Delboy. And that was a terrific finish at the end of what was always an absorbing and sometimes excellent fight. I don't think any praise is too high for Derek Chisora after that performance. That was tough from start to finish, but the fight reached a stage where someone had to dig in that little bit deeper and get the other fellow out of there. Now, I don't know if that, if that round, round had finished, I wonder what Chisora would have had left in the tank, because that was a massive round, the punches they put together, tremendous shots, tremendous performance from him, fully, fully deserving to be a double champion here. He's the British and Commonwealth heavyweight champion now. For me, he was fantastic tonight. A lot of class from Chisora, and he might move on from British level to maybe even be knocking on the door at world level two with that kind of level he passed the stamina test look at this longest fight of his life here he is piling it in jim and he must have been feeling so tired i mean my song wearily walked back to his corner of the round before that but he decided not i'm tired but he's even more tired and he just kept pouring the punches full credit to sam sexton for hanging in there but he had absolutely nothing left referee maybe could have jumped in a little bit earlier but when two titles are on the line you have to give uh, one of the champions every chance possible to get himself back into things and it was the first time he was actually punched out of the fight so you can't really complain but what a tremendous performance from Derek Chisora championship class tremendous stuff and a clinical ruthless finish too John Keane did try to give Sexton every possible chance but that last right cross when he was laying on the ropes that was enough to persuade him to call it off Chisora, star quality tonight. Ladies and gentlemen, we have the time. Two minutes, 53 seconds in round number nine. A referee in charge, John Keane, stops the contest. The fighter in no condition to continue. He is the winner. He is still undefeated. He is now the British and Commonwealth heavyweight champion. Derek Chisora! Ladies and gentlemen, very, very proud Derek Chisora has the Commonwealth heavyweight title to his British crown and a very impressive display for the man who uh, talks a lot but also delivers on those promises. Good victory over Sam Sexton. Up next, former World Cruiserweight Champion Enzo Macronelli defending his European Cruiserweight crown. He's in sparkling form right now. Three successive one-round knockouts have propelled him to the brink of a world title fight. He's got a tough test tonight, though, against Alexander Frenkel, based in Germany. He's got a perfect record, winning all 22 fights so far. His chunky, his hard hitting, 
But what about that performance from Derek Chisora? Surprisingly classy, light on his feet, heavy-handed. He, he, he shut my mouth, put it that way. I didn't think he had that kind of stamina in the tank. I didn't think he had that kind of ability. An excellent jab in the tank on his toes. Uh, his character shone through. His character took over in this fight. And that's a hard thing to do, mind you. She just shut <laughs> Johnny's mouth. <laughs> so, he did, so he did very well indeed, didn't he? No, excellent, a rounded performance. Good to see him have the bounce in his legs and the good, the good hand speed. Let's see what he has to say now, talking about him. Derek Chisori, you retain your British title. You add the Commonwealth belt after an absolute cracker with Sam Sexton. Do you feel you proved something tonight? You know, uh, he was boxing very great, you know. Uh, I'm not going to make an excuse. He was a good fighter. Uh, two uh, A week ago, I had a massive cold. So my sharpness went away. I didn't spar in the last, last week. But, you know, the fight was great, man. I know everybody enjoyed that fight, you know. What can I say? There were flashy bursts at times, but Sexton stayed with you. And then there was, I suppose, a, a thought he might outlast you, but you, yeah, you dug yeah, deep. No, 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 he wasn't going to outlast me. I knew that already. You know, I was, I was looking for him. I knew I was going to catch him because his first two rounds, his jabs were beautiful. And then the last, the last two rounds, he was just pouring it out, just trying to get the points. Then I knew if I get him hurt, I'm just going to jump on him. Well, that's it. Great action, but some finish. The predator came out on you. Oh, yeah, man. I know when I got someone on, 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 on a go, I'm not going to stop going. So I, I got him on a go, and I, and I took my time to jump in there because uh, a wounded animal is a very dangerous, dangerous thing, you know. So I took my time, and I saw the shot, and I took it. You excited the fans. You're a double champion. How far do you think you can go in the sport? Can you go to world level? Of course. You know, I, I want to go to the world level. And the only way you could prove yourself is when, when I'm, I'm young now, I'm recovering better. So I want to go to the world, title, world, world level, so I'm going to ask Frank for that now anyway. Terrific performance. Well done tonight, Derek. Enjoy it. Thank you very much.